Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Tell You How here, as always. Um, I have the long anticipated um, how to fix the Xbox with the three rings, um, three red rings of death. My bad. I'm here for you today. This video will be broken up into several parts. Guys, keep in mind that I originally did not plan on doing this video. My original video was how to make money online off of Xboxes. Um, now I'm just getting so many messages from it. I'm actually just going to go on ahead and. Um, show you guys how to through the video. It's appreciated if you subscribe because whether you not you know it does take me a few hours to make a video um, of this length and edit it and post it. All right, so guys, I spend my time doing this. We would appreciate it. Tell you how if you were just to subscribe. All right, enough chit chat. Let's go on ahead and get right in. Um, number one, if you plan on making money, here's what you do: go to www.ebay.com. In the search bar, type in Broken Xbox 360 or RROD Xbox 360. Search it and um, quite a few listings will come up. Um, some of them may or may not be what you're looking for. Um, so you'd have to look around, see if the seal is broken. If the seal is broken on the Xbox 360, um, the seal is the warranty manufacturer. Uh, seal showing that no one has gotten into the Xbox. Try to find one with a closed seal. Um, that way you can ensure that you're the first person to open the Xbox and try to fix it. Some other person hasn't already gotten in and posted glue or something on the ROM chips. Now, let's go ahead and get right in, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on just so you can see. As you can see, it's booting up. And these are the three flashing red rings of death. Alright guys, here we are, um, first step in taking the Xbox apart. Um, now this is actually probably the most complicated part of this, the actual fix takes practically nothing. Alright, so we're going to just start by taking the faceplate off. Now, regardless of how easy you think some of these may be to do, um, sometimes they do take a little bit. Alright, so there's a faceplate, if you're never taking it off, it just pops right off. You don't need any special tools or anything. Um, you can see here actually um, there's my seal what I was talking about I said you needed it earlier um, this is it right here so that little piece of pl uh, paper or plastic or sticker whatever is um, what makes your Xbox uh, will let you know that you're getting a good Xbox off of eBay um, next you would normally take the sides off right here alright so my voice kind of changed right there but I already took them off. All they are are these uh, little vent looking things and what they do, it's quite simple. Um, uh, I mean how you take it off is quite simple. All you do is they go in like this and the little holes on the side of the Xbox right here um, you can stick anything that's uh, long or in, uh, you know, narrow in there so for instance I'm actually using a throwing dart I know that sounds a little weird but it fits perfectly in there alright so you just stick it in the little holes um, you pop there's these little uh, you see the little uh, clip on there you just pop the clips um, sometimes you'll hear a pretty loud popping sound don't worry you're not breaking anything I also did that with this side alright and when you do that with this one which is where the hard drive goes you're going to have to stick whatever it is that you're using inside these little holes right here and pop there's a clip down in those as well alright not the middle one but the two sides there is alright so now that we have those off um, along the back here there's actually a couple little you can see them when you're up close there's these little spots um, that you have to stick something kind of flat um, and not too wide, but a little bit wide. Uh, I know you could make a ton of that's what she said jokes out of this, but whatever. Um, so you can just stick something like a little pair of scissors, for instance. This is like a little barber style pair of scissors, whatever, I don't know. But you can just stick it in these little holes. There's clips in here. And you just kind of have to get the clip out, or you just kind of have to pop the clip.
All right, after you undo the clips, there's more clips right along the front under the face plate. Um, you can see uh, right here. You can just pop these up with your fingernail. There should also be a seal right here. Mine's a little torn up because I already got into this one, but um, you know. Once you pop these clips, uh, this piece of the Xbox should just come right off. And then you'll see um, the two X clamps right here. Now, what you're going to do from here is you're going to take your screwdriver and undo all these screws. Uh, the, the middle black ones are the T8. Uh, that's where you need the T8 screwdriver. Everything else you can use T10. Alright, so I'm just going to go on ahead and fast forward through this part. Alright guys, now we're all on screw here. Um, we got, uh, there's a lot of screws in there, right? There's like 20 screws, so you're going to need, remember to use the T8s on the inside. Um, the X-clamps and the T10 everywhere else around or else you may end up stripping your screw. Alright, so that's what it looks like. They're all out. Now, if you've taken them all out, this is right um, when the top should come off. Okay? So once you take them all out, what you're going to need to do, number one, before you take the top off, um, you can look right here you'll see the eject button All right. you just kind of have to pull up on the under part of the eject button and pop it off alright so that should just pop off now after you do that the top is just going to um, come up you may have to kind of Mess with it a little bit. Alright. You know what I did? I forgot to take out a screw. Okay, so this will be a good demonstration. We'll take our T10. Stick it in. Now, a couple of screws are actually long ones, like so. They go all the way through the Xbox. There should be five of the long ones. All right. So once we do that, now before we take it off, we want to make sure to flip it over, guys. This is an important part, or else your motherboard will be everywhere. We take this off. Has a metal sheet under it. Now, if you're one of those people who likes to beat on your Xbox when you get mad at it. You'll notice there'll be a lot of dents on this thing, alright? So that's a good way to tell if someone has previously abused the Xbox. It doesn't look like too much has happened here. It's in very good condition, actually. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom in on the motherboard area. Sorry, guys, I know uh, my tripod makes a lot of noise. I'm just going to have to kind of deal with it. You know what, actually, I'm going to get a little bit closer shot, so I'll be right back.